I'm Christy Fern. I'm an author. I write historical fiction. My most recent book, my debut novel, is called Framed, and it's about the Luddites, Nottingham Luddites, and the Industrial Revolution. In Framed, really, you were looking at um, what was going on politically and economically in Nottingham at the time, and I was relating that to what was happening today, and a lot of the readers have made that connection. Um, a lot of the uh, readers I've actually spoken to face to face, a lot of people have come up to me and said how much they've enjoyed it, which has been really, really uh, positive. The other thing as well that I've had from uh, readers, because I do talks, um, go to various different uh, venues and talk about the novel, read from Framed as well, is that uh, the, the readers have really enjoyed the fact that it's such a local story, uh, that it involves uh, local locations um, that they recognise quite easily that are still here today. Uh, for example, the Old Angel pub is the, the Angel Inn, the tavern that's in the, uh, in the novel, and uh, the Lace Market, various different areas, Newstead Abbey, of course, as well, is a very important uh, location in the, uh, in the text as well, in the, in the uh, plot. So it's, um, that's something that the, the readers really enjoy. When I was uh, researching Framed, I, I came up with some absolutely amazing um, you know, nuggets of history. Uh, for example, when I, I wrote Framed, I, I made the, the main character, Lizzie, and her, and her brother, Robert, um, Roman Catholics. And there were quite a lot of French emigre Roman Catholic people in, in Britain at the time. Uh, and I found out that there had actually been a Roman Catholic chapel in the lace market at the time, and I had no idea that this was the case. Um, and, you know, digging around a bit further into uh, history online, at the library um, and you know newspapers and so on, and I found out that the priest at this particular Catholic chapel was a French emigre. So it was a nice little bit of factual information that backed up what I'd already thought. Um, I thought, well, you know, would it be too much to make him French as well? And then when I found out that he actually was, uh, I thought, well, there you are. There's the, the facts to back it up. I think the the main problem is knowing when to stop researching and actually start writing and it it just carry, for me it carries on I don't just think right that's it I'm not going to do any more research I just start writing and then gradually I'll find out little extra bits and think oh, I've got to put that in or I'll hear something on the radio or I'll hear overhear somebody talking and I just think oh, that's exactly what so and so would say. Really because of the audience response that I got, uh, the reader response, um, a lot of people kept coming up to me and saying, what's going to happen in the next one? What, what are we going to see any more of Lizzie? What happened to, you know, Sarah and, uh, and Robert? Um, is Byron going to be in the next one? Um, so much so, and I had so many, so many uh, uh, questions from people about what was going to happen to these characters that I thought, well, I can't really disappoint them. I want to put some more of this into the next novel. The next book's called Notorious, that's the working title, but I think it could probably still be that. It's more set in London, there might be a little bit of Nottingham, but there are other locations as well, but it's mostly set in London, centred around the theatre, the world of the theatre, and the, the famous uh, actresses of the time, uh, one in particular who's particularly, uh, uh, not a very nice character, <laughs> shall we say, uh, not good and kind and, and sweet and gentle like Lizzie, but uh, a bit of a um, arrogant uh, so-and-so. <laughs> With Notorious, it's about celebrity and the cult of celebrity and the way that people want to have some kind of association with people who are famous because they, they subconsciously think somehow it's going to rub off on them. The uh, other characters as well, um, really rotate around that, that world. Uh, I've got a, a group of dandies in, in there as well uh, who have a performance of their own, shall we say. Um, it's not uh, a, really a theatre performance, it's more along musical lines, but I'm not really prepared to tell you any more than that. <laughs>